got 12,000 poppies which have come from as far away as the central coast, down at Canberra, Victoria, Queensland and um, out central west. I'm a registered nurse here at the Blue Man Mountains District Anzac Memorial Hospital. Very proud that we're the only hospital in New South Wales that carries the Anzac title. Um, I'm here today not only dressed in my uh, complete replica of the Army Anzac nurse's uniform, but also I have a connection with one of the ribbons here. Uh, all the ladies and all of New South Wales made these poppies, but this ribbon in particular holds a very special place in my heart. It carries the name of my father-in-law, John Doherty Senior. My husband, obviously, is John Doherty, so he carried his father's name. He was in World War II and he was at the Kokoda Trail. My name is David White, I'm the Secretary of the Katoomba RSL Club. Anzac Day to me is uh, about a couple of things personally. Uh, it's about family because my son's in the army and he's been deployed and I know what it feels like to have that uncertainty about what's going to happen to him. Will he be okay? Uh, I've had ancestors who've been in the First World War. Uh, one was killed just six weeks before Armistice Day, Armistice Day on the Western Front. Uh, so it's that example, I think, and the, the thing that I mostly take out of it is what we can remember is duty and sacrifice and the things that people have done so that we can be safe and secure, notwithstanding their own safety. So that's what it's about for me. Anzac Day is, is Australia. It's Australians, it's, it's remembrance, and it's just knowing that there are Australians who believe in Australia and will fight and die and be remembered for Australia. Hi, I'm Sarah Shrub. I'm a fairly newly elected councillor on Blue Mountain City Council and this is the first time I've seen this poppy wall. I don't know if it's been here before. It is very moving actually, the amount of work that you can see that all sorts of people, and we heard about the range of people who'd contributed, but the amount of work and the care that they've put into the poppies that they've made is heartrending, you know, and it's a, a really beautiful way to remind people of the pain and the suffering and the loss that we're remembering, particularly this year. Lacey Gilbert, one of the nurses in rehab, and um, yeah, it's just so great to be a part of this today. Um, the poppy wall tribute is absolutely spectacular. Great poppies, great colour, everything's really splendid. So um, it's a real tribute to all the diggers out there that have given their lives for us, so I think it's wonderful. Wonderful, and we've contributed. Yes, wow. I needed um, some. I needed, yes. Yes. yes, yes, I did. So we just yes. think it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've yeah. done a beautiful oh, job. Absolutely. The whole yeah. service was really, really I can't. lovely. I don't know what to we say. We all have thought about the horrors of the trenches, and um, and the mateship's the thing that um, coalesces you, takes, you, picks you up sometimes when you think oh, I'm not going to come back from this. It'd be so dread, you know. And they say, come on, you'll be right. And I, I remember Vietnam, we were being mortared and rocketed once and there's a sergeant in the bunker and he's up with his knees around his, hands around his knees and he was shaking, just physically shaking, you know, as the rounds went off and so on. And, and uh, I remember reaching over to him and said to him, I said, Graham, I said, we feel like that inside, mate. You, you know, don't worry, don't, we're here, you know, we're all here together. You're in it together. And I think that's... Um, we were in it together all, you know, that's what's happening even in Afghanistan now, they're in it together. And that's the Anzac, Mooney of Anzac to me, is the fact that the comradeship was the most important aspect. It was for me, and I think many other servicemen would say the same thing. You know, something about Australians, I think the Anzac spirit is, you know, to me, if you give them a job, the Australians a job, they'll go and do that job and they'll do it to their best of ability. Um, they may not always be successful, but they'll do the best they can. Secondly, um, when they're there, they'll do it, and um, you'll be proud of what they've done. And uh, finally, 
The third thing is um, that um, they'll they'll make you proud of, of their service, um, and while they're doing that, they'll look after each other. So look after your mates and take care of them while we're in that situation, difficult situations at times.